Ghent looks like a city from a fairy tale. With its stunning medieval architecture and its charming cobbled streets, it's one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Of course, it's also home to some of Belgium's best restaurants. Hof van Cleve is located inside an old farmhouse, about a 30 minute drive outside of Ghent. Chef Peter Gosens is the grandfather of Belgian fine dining. His restaurant Hof van Cleve has been around since the 80s, and it's still one of the best restaurants in Belgium today. The spectacular dessert trolley is worth a visit alone. My name is Peter Gosens and this is Hof van Cleve. I started in 86, so it's 35 years. First Michelin star in 94, second 98, uh, third 2005. The style of cooking, traditional. Here you don't, you don't find uh, smoking dishes and flowers and that's not my style of cooking. So I like Japanese food, so we put little in the, in the starters. We are not, we are not a, a Japanese restaurant, but we put little influences of Japanese, uh, ponzu, uh, dashi, uh, all, all those things in our dishes. I worked in Paris, uh, Robuchon, Pricatelon, and then I start here, directly in, in Kresortem. It's a little former village in the Flemish Ardennes. Uh, and why here? Because it's near Kortrijk, near Ghent, and I think it's, it's uh, 45 minutes from Brussels. So every morning I, I look for the, the, the breads and the pastry of it's good and I taste and I, I look and so we, I, with my pastry chef I say well what we can change, what we can more, more tasting in it. So we, in, the, in the bread we put, uh, a lot of breads is with uh, Belgian beer and the sordo we are make it also with Belgian beer, we have the, the very good taste of it. We have the bread, uh, chariot, after we have a chariot with all, all uh, desserts. So in the tasting menu, we start with the uh, langoustine uh, from Gilvinec, a nice, a nice big langoustine. And then we have a cucumber, green apple, a little dew of uh, sorrel, and there are little ice cubes from uh, sake. Then uh, we have the we have a caviar dish with uh, a flan of miso, with cauliflower couscous and maté juice. In the 80s, it was more butter and cream and, and, and another style of cooking. No, no, the style is, is different. We have more bouillons. Uh, Sauces are, are lighter, more vegetables. I think in Belgium we have a cuisine all, always with, with, with vegetables. In France it's different, there, there it's, it's, it's on the side. But here in Belgium the cooking style is with, with, with a lot of vegetables. We look for the local, that's, that's the most important. And then we, we, we don't find it local, we go to France. Two langoustines are from Gilvinec. Uh, scallops, they are coming from Yep. Main course is quap. It's with a sauce of saffron and uh, celery. 
And then with that, we have uh, the Belgian endives and some uh, seps. So one of our desserts in the menu, you have, um, it's, a, it's a matcha biscuit, with matcha ice with pear and basmati rice. The highlight of the meal was the dessert trolley. Guests are welcomed, even encouraged, to try every cake, tart, and cookie on display. Fresh from the oven madeleines, millefle, pommiers, donuts, baba al rum, vanilla flan, and so much more. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrew Sousa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching.